I couldn't think of a better intro, so I'm Awesome Face Prod for Nintendo News, Friday, September 13th, 2013. A brand new Pokemon trailer release recently shows off the mega evolutions of a few new Pokemon. Chespin, Fennekin, Froakie, Garchomp, and both Mewtwo X and Mewtwo Y. We've already seen Mega Mewtwo Y, but Mega Mewtwo X is completely different. Along with these Mega Evolutions, it was also revealed that the players can now change the look of the protagonists in the game and customize almost everything to make your character unique to you. Not only that, but certain male and female Pokemon have different forms, making it much easier to figure out what gender a Pokemon is at a glance. Kind of a side note, but it was in the trailer the Pokemon for Fru, I think is how you pronounce it, can be groomed into different styles. As far as I know, this is just a cosmetic change and doesn't actually do anything to the stats of the Pokemon, but it does give you the option for some customization, which is always welcomed. And now it's time for some super amazingly awesome Smash Bros. 4 news. This week, Sakurai has confirmed the next playable character in Smash Bros. 4, which is the one, the only, Princess Peach. Now, I'm not trying to upset any Peach mains out there, but I think this is another character we all just assumed that was going to be in the game. I understand they're trying to build hype and everything like that, but at the same time, this is kind of trolly on Nintendo's part. A few of the screenshots do show some interesting stuff like two characters fighting on a plane, Kirby in what seems to be, well, space. So I certainly have a lot of questions regarding the stages in the next Smash Bros. game. All in all, the screenshots just make me want to play it even more, but I do look forward to more news and of course, we will report on it when it comes in. Now, let's just take a second to congratulate Nintendo. They were in a huge legal battle with Creative Kingdom over some patent. Long story short, if the case would have ruled in Creative Kingdom's favor, the Wii and maybe even Wii U would have actually been banned in the US, and that would have just been terrible. The Wii is still one of the best selling consoles of all time, and no doubt, will continue to be one of the best selling for a long time coming. So good job on Nintendo and their legal team for winning this very important case for the future of Nintendo. IGN recently held an interview with Zelda series producer and asked him about the possibility of a Majora's Mask remake. He simply replied by laughing and then said, I guess that's really up to them. To which I say, I'm pretty dang sure we've made it plenty clear that we want this. Remember that Operation Moonfall petition that got a ton of signatures? Nintendo should know by now that there is an audience and a demand for this remake. And I understand that they're busy focusing on newer Zelda titles, but even confirmation that's in the pipeline to be worked on would be nice. But I guess only time will tell, so we'll keep you posted. Anyway, that's gonna do for this week's Nintendo news, but if you want to listen to me talk some more, you can come and check out my channel. There you'll find an ongoing Let's Play of Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. Anyways, I've been Awesome Face Prod for Nintendo News. Have a great day.